Hey everybody, HMV here, playing more Darkest Dungeon, and as I mentioned last time, we are heading into the ruins with a squad, one of my favorites, um, if this was a Hellion, uh, mostly I just want to level up um, the Crusader, because we don't have a level 6 Crusader yet, and I figured why not. Um, as soon as all these guys get to level 6, Vernon is going to take the Crusader's place, because I love it. Um, I've got a very interesting set of... Uh, trinkets here. We're actually going to start... Yeah, we'll start with with you. Um, he's got this, so he adds to his dodge, which always helps, and he's also got um, adding to his speed, which is nice, because uh, the Crusaders can be uh, tanky, um, so adding to his speed helps him not be quite so tanky, and adding to his dodge helps him be tanky. Um, the uh, blonde, whatever you call this, Grave Robber, um, she's got the Grave Robber Satchel to give her even more speed to go along with, um, she's got something here, plus four speed on the first round, which is always nice. She's also just got plus two speed. So she's basically guaranteed to go first on the first round. She also has this, which gives her more hit points and more dodge, lowering her accuracy. So she's going to be probably the least accurate of the three. Actually, I can guarantee you she's the least accurate of the four. Um, so her going first, though, is good because we can we can react to that. And I think it's going to be worth it to have extra hit points and dodge in longer fights. Um, then our second uh, purple one, um, the whole point of her is she just has extra dodge, which is always nice, and a little bit of speed to get her in front of the first one, who has Wilbur's Flag, which is going to give her um, a ton of dodge as well. So we're going for a very defensive... Um, build here, and I'm going to see how that goes as we do this long ruins explore, simply for the busts, simply so we can upgrade um, the sanitarium. It needs one more upgrade, and then we're good to go. So, um, this is ruins, so we're already here. we got 16 food and 8 torches. Uh, let's do 16 food and 8 torches, no more, no less. Um, we got a shovel. A key and two holy waters. Well, we've already got the shovel, obviously. So a key and one more holy water to go with that one. We're down to eight grand. Well, let's get out there. It's nice to be back with the uh, the old standby, the, the three grave robbers. Um, Pace out the halls of your lineage once familiar. They may no, not be perfect. Foreign. But they're pretty darn good. Now, we can we can go based on what we get in a scout here. Um, assuming we get a scout. Um, what I'd like to do is know that there was that trap coming. Uh, what I'd like to do is know if there's a scout here that, uh, whether or not there's a fight here. Because if there's a fight here, we'll go this way. If there's a fight here, we'll go this way. And then, um, we'll decide there. So we're gonna go this way. We got plenty of shovels. So let's do this. What we're, what we're doing here is we're just avoiding as many fights as possible because, you know, why why make it harder than it has to be, right? Not going to bother uh, putting the torch up until we get to this curio. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Books. Books are never terrible, right? Um, actually, they are frequently terrible. So we're going to give you the books just in case you get stress out of it. That's what we like to see. Let's give it a map of the entire place. Looks like now we're just got some got some. Uh... Oh my god, we got a map of the entire place. <laughs> that is fantastic. Now I don't think the map shows the secret room, so we still need to scout for that, assuming there is one. But we do know we should go this way, because I'd rather fight this room fight now than uh, than not. We also know where all the fights are in the level, which is fantastic. So now we know we should bring the light up for this. I'm actually just going to bring it up because I think it's going to hit that where it's going to go below the marker before it gets to the thing. Okay, now we're going to do the lunge trick. Because we love the lunge trick. And how do they still get to go first, even though Their formation is our speed broken. is so awesome? Maintain the offensive. Nice dodging. Okay, what is the chance of this killing? Very low. Actually, that's a terrible hit for a level 5 dude. I guess they have prot, but we'll just Continue hack this guy to death. Onslaught. Destroy them all. Okay, we're going to keep trying for the crit here. Wow. <laughs> As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. 
Like your fire is annoying, this group can't really handle that many uh, badnesses. Why does it look like he only has three moves? I think, you know what, I need to like, I think I've only set up three moves on him. Holy cow. Um, well, let's kill this body so they can lunge at him next turn. I've never actually seen that where a guy only has three moves. Um, let's go ahead and do the lunge thing. Oh, come on. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. They just didn't want me to have to move him back. Yeah, so let's give him a third move. I guess I was deciding between these two, probably. Um, I think we're going to put the heal on you. For the time being, because stress doesn't seem to be that big of an issue right now. Now, we don't need to bring the torch back up until after we get this curio. I like that early map. That is fantastic. Can't really complain. And I guess I could have gotten this on the way back, but I think we had lower torchlight on the way out anyway. Okay, um, key or shovel? Well, actually, we know how many shovels we're going to need, and the number of shovels we're going to need is zero. So we're going to use a shovel on this thing. Keys are better, but we're still hoping for that secret room. Okay, let's get the torch up, and... Yeah, we shouldn't go down all the way. Yeah, there we go, 76. Okay, she must die. Just because she's easier to kill. That'll do it. Give them no quarter. Nice. Jeez, I love the crits. Too bad he gets a shot, a shot off. A oh. Blow to body and now I don't like the crits. Uh, yep. A powerful blow. I think this entire battle has been crits. Um, we have no bandages, so you're stuck. The first one to not crit was you, and if you had... It would be enough. I think we're going to do this. Merely so that we don't lose our, our round here. And yeah, might as well. So I don't have to set him back. That's, does not that's why I'm making my blade. battle decisions here. Based on whether or not I'm going to be able to... Uh, <laughs> get, whether, whether or not I'm going to have to to lower my people's thing. Oh, don't get a negative quirk or a bleed or something like that. You can't staunch the flow. You inhaled foul vapors, and now you have hysterical blindness. I've invested so much money in you, but I'm seriously thinking about taking out the squad. Hunger! That always works. Uh, let's go ahead and do this and this. I probably could have camped, but I think I'm going to actually let the torchlight go all the way down and camp here before these fights here. And then this will be one, two, three, four fights with our with our bonuses that these guys don't actually have good bonuses before fights anyway so it doesn't really matter that much I think we're probably gonna use the key on this um, but we're gonna lunge if we take this guy out and kill his body these guys only have bayonet jabs left and I'm really concerned about you so yeah let's do this a singular strike let's try to kill this guy before and, and get rid of his dead body before anybody else gets a chance to do it Without crits, it's not going to happen. <laughs> so I'm starting to think this was a bad idea. And I don't think we can battle heal right now. We have to use the... the hack on this guy. This is what I'm worried about. Nice dodge! That was that. That's that dodge! Eight dodge! That'll do it. Okay. Kill him? Oh, you didn't kill him. Okay, you killed him. size has no intrinsic merit. Unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. Oh, you're picking on the guy who's low health, and now he's at death's door. As life burns, <sighs> terrible vistas of I'm actually concerned that he might die. Themselves. His holy lance didn't hit. He, could, he couldn't heal himself is the problem. And see, they're getting crits before we get a chance to do anything. Okay, we're going to pick to the face because we can't let the... Uh, can't let the him not go with his next move. Um, I guess we'll start blighting him because we don't really have another move. Yeah, bayonet jab's what we want them to do. And I guess you'll pick him to the face. We're not really going to cheese the fight. We're going to. We actually might camp after this, right? Like right after this. 
Although, I mean, we know that there's no fights. So we'll get a couple heals off just to, just to help you out a little bit. And... Let's just pile bl Blight up on this guy. His Blight is 10. So this will kill him in two rounds. Go ahead and keep healing yourself. And then... She's going to pick him in the face. Probably shouldn't be cheesing the fight anymore, really. Especially when their their cheesy damage is worse than his heal. Um, okay, this guy's dead this round. Let's put Blight on him. Oh, he actually gets to move. If she's at death's door, it's my fault. She's a Death and Star, it's my the fault. True test. Hold fast or expire. That's totally my fault. I don't feel that bad about it, to be honest. Okay, um, well, we'll just take victory, this stuff. We didn't get a scout, so I'm gonna use the key on this. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna keep going even though you're a Death Star. We're actually going to. How much food do we have? We have 12 food. Oh, that's not what you do. Yeah, we gotta do it like that. We have to leave six because we need a food activation and then the camp. Okay, this is holy water, which we have nah, two of. Nice, that's a good haul. Gonna let the torch go down both for the uh, extra loot and for the extra benefit from the camp. Okay, there's our last hunger activation, and I'm terrified now that we screwed this up. My my preparation for this Im expected us <laughs> to get a uh, to find food in the level. I don't remember what the confession booth needs. It needs holy water for minus 30 stress. It's not really a thing. I want to do here. Hand could give you 20 stress, loot, or remove a negative quirk or disease. Well, guess who has a ne who has tons of negative quirks and diseases? He's got calm, which I hate. Yeah, so we're gonna give him this and hope that he doesn't get the stress. And he gets the stress. Oh well, at least we didn't get a hunger activation before this. No, the darkness holds dominion. So let's go ahead and camp. Black as death. Do the lowest eat we can. And the one thing we can do in here is stress heal. Now, do we have anything for people who have removed mortality debuffs? This is on a companion. So let's go ahead and do that to her. Now, do you guys have anything? You can remove a disease. We'll probably do that, but let's see. Um, yeah, we're probably just going to do all the stress removals, the disease removal, and then all the pilfers we can. So let's go ahead and remove his disease. Make sure nobody else has any diseases. I would like to click on my people, please. Uh, disease, disease, disease. Nobody has diseases. So all we have to do now is reduce his stress. So let's do this. Let's actually use these commands like we're supposed to. Okay. Stress relief. Yeah, I, God, the barks just make me, drive me nuts. I don't care what you have to say. I know that it's flavor. But I'm trying to actually finish this level in a reasonable amount of time. Okay, we've, we've dealt with stress. We can pilfer twice. Maybe we'll find some food. Nope, we found bandages. And they're upon us. That is hilarious. We forgot to... That might be a plan, actually, when you go into a camp. Okay. Um... I think we kill the guy we, we know we can. And then we kill this guy, because this guy's now got bayonet. That was easy. Bayonet jab the guy with low health. Clever, classy move there. But we're definitely not really suited to long campaigns with this, with this party. Um, we should have brought more food. Should have brought more food. Didn't. What are you gonna do? The match is struck. 
a blazing star is born. If we come across a dead body now, we can get food from it, which would be nice. Or just an empty crate. A collector! Awesome. I forgot to reset their things, but hey, that works. We can't stun though, which really sucks. That means he's gonna he's gonna get people off. But we do have um, a crusader, so we can't really complain that much. Although they're eldritch, not undead. Okay, we can't cheese this. We have to kill the highwayman. That would have been nice to uh, to have that. That's fine. Once we kill the highwayman, I don't care about the other ones. Masterfully executed. Because now we're... Oh. That's pretty lame. And it's another highwayman who we've got to kill. And we're not going to. This is really annoying. And now she's going to heal him. All the damage we did do. Not all the... Okay, not even close to all the damage. Come on. we got to actually hit these guys. I'm, I'm much cooler with stress damage than I am with anything else. We could pile blight on him too. I really shouldn't. I really shouldn't uh, ignore the, the blight chance. Okay, now he's being protected, which is super annoying. The ground nice quakes. crit. Oh, we get a crit. She heals it all right back. I will happily lunge with the, uh... Although, no, I can't, which is uh, hilarious. That's fine. I think he might be able to heal from back here, but I'm, I'm suspecting he can't. He can't, but he can now lance, which is nice. And I think we're going to go right for him. Yeah, you can't throw things from here. Um, two highwaymen, are you serious? You could actually kill the Vestal, though. I hate to do that because highwaymen are so dangerous. What does this do? Five for three rounds. That's, that's a lot. And it doesn't move you forward, so I think we're going to do that. And you resisted it. Of course, because, you know... FML. Um, can't let these guys live. They're going to totally murder us. We might actually have to abandon this dungeon. You're, he's going to be back at death's door very soon. We have to bandage. Okay, this gets him back where he can do other attacks. Nice dodge. We needed that. She's a death star. Awesome. Facing the abyss. And we have no heal at this, on this squad at all. Yep, I'm finding the problems with the squad. Mostly that there's no heal. We might get a party wipe. Precipice of I think we got to. I think we have to retreat. A wise general cuts losses and regroups. Yeah. That was that was bad. Okay, well, I think <laughs> this is a this is a, a, a hint to me that the triple grave robber just isn't powerful enough in the level five dungeons. Um, I don't I don't think I could have brought enough food to heal him, um, and I don't think the uh, I don't even think the grave robber or sorry the hellion has has what it takes for that. So that was a learning experience, and I think that was a fair learning experience. That that taught me a thing. Um, yeah, Fangophobia has to go. Scattering doesn't really matter that much. Although, we might actually be throwing away a bunch of Grave Robbers, because I don't think, really think All we can life, afford to have more than one in a, in a group. feel an gnawing in the back of my mind. It was a yearning, a thirst for discovery that could be neither numbed nor sated. We might be discarding the Grave Robbers. Um, this is collecting things. I'm not going to do it. Uh, we only have these guys. And they make a pretty good team, really. Let's see what we can do here. Hellion, Man-at-Arms, 
you and you. Boom. That's I mean that's a party that's just made to go out. That's a party that's kind of designed for the wield. Is this a party that can take the hangwich? Can hit the back ranks, can hit the back ranks, can hit the back ranks, can hit the back ranks. Yeah. We can take out the hag with these guys. Um I would almost like a vestal though for the hag instead of the arbalist even. Two healers would be really nice against the hag so that whoever comes out of the pot, we have a twice as many chances to heal her. Um, so maybe we we wait on the hag witch. We go back into the ruins because, like I said, we still want busts. Uh, the martyr seal is garbage, but it sells for a lot. Um, so let's uh, let's do more leveling here. Let's let's look at this. Let's let's look at this with a. With an eye here. Um, I think we keep the Crusader. Although we have another Crusader leveling up. Do we toss these guys? That's the question. I think we make that decision later. I think we make that decision later. Um, but that's really all we have really in the level 5 is these guys. So let's bring Talabois. Who doesn't need stress relief. Yeah, we have we have so many grave robbers. I kind of went crazy on the grave robbers. I think we can I think we can let some grave robbers go. Let's just do this now. Send this one to journey elsewhere. Uh, For we have need of sterner stock. We're gonna we're gonna dismiss two of you. Slumped shoulders, wild eyes, and a stumbling. And gate. I went by stress. Probably a stupid this way to do it. This one is no more good to us. Uh, we just we don't need that many grave robbers. I'm I'm kind of done with the whole grave robber thing. <laughs> I think uh, I think I, I just learned my lesson. We'll we'll, we'll keep two of them because um, I mean they're useful. They're they're good. But uh, yeah, let's see. We're going to the ruins, so possibly even a double crusade crusader run. But I don't have a jester to bring. I don't think a clinch champs can go, and I don't have a high level jester. So crusader one, I'm keeping you. We'll even put you in stress relief. Uh, Mid-range works for me. Can't upgrade the Abbey anyway. Yeah, we need we need busts for several things. Um, so that's obvious because we want to level you up. We can put you in the back ranks here, and then uh, just bring a high level one high level person with you to uh, to help out. Maybe the man at arms to protect. Or the Hellion to do even more damage. Um, yeah, that works. That works for me. And we'll give her some blight stuff. We'll, we'll make her. We'll make her uh, more blighty than anything else. We'll give her um, flashing daggers and probably thrown dagger. We might actually do it. Pick to the face. Flashing daggers, thrown dagger, poison darts. I think that works. And then she's perfect in ra in rank three. So we'll we'll upgrade Throne Dagger for her. Let's just do this now. Let's just do this now. Where are you? There you are, Papon. Let's upgrade Throne Dagger for you. And then Queermont needs to be upgraded. We need both your healing skills, obviously. You are in the third rank, which is no, you're in the fourth rank. Um. Yeah, Judgment and Dazzling Light. You're not going to be Mace Bashing and you're not going to be Handle Lighting, so that's perfect for you. Man at Arms, um, I think we're probably just going to keep what we got here. I'm not a big fan of Bellow, Defender, or Command. Defender's a possibility, but I don't. I really don't think it's that It's that big of a deal. I think pulling pulling other people away is, is fine. And then Talabois, looks like you can upgrade all your good skills. We don't need your heal skills, so let's take your stress heal. And we are out of money. Wow. Wow, let's go ahead and sort by rarity and sell some of these high things. Ancestral, 7,500. I mean, that's not actually even very good. I mostly want to keep it just because it's ancestral. Um, I like this one. Obviously, we used it last time. Leper Mask, crit, and speed. Can't really complain about that. Accuracy, stun, and blight. That's fantastic. Um, we got two of them, so let's keep those. These are good. Um... Minus 20, yeah, that's good. Sacred Scroll for the Vestal, I think we really only need one. We're never going to bring two Vestals out. Um, Tuffering, 
I'm really not a super big fan. It's nice, though. Maybe I should try it more. Um, the Wrathful Bandana for the Arbalist. Damage debuff. That's actually pretty good, actually. Berserk Charm I like. I'm never bringing two, je two Jesters out. I don't like the darkness things. We're already up to 1,100. Um, this is good. Uh, just got this one. I want to try it. Um, Blight, I want to try. The chance of ever getting two Occultists is pretty low. But I think I'll keep those for now. Like I said, I don't like the dark things. Um, fortunate Amulet for the Jester, for the Leper. Eh, it's not bad. I don't think I'll ever use it, to be honest. Not going to use this at all, ever. Um, I seriously doubt I'll ever use that. Okay, we're getting to the bottom of the barrel here. I don't have three of anything. I have three of these. I never use them. I have four of these. I could actually see... I could see using three of these, but I'll keep the other one. I think we're fine now. Okay. We're up to 1,700. Let's uh, get out of here and raise you up. And that's everybody, right? That's Papon, Talabois, someone, and someone else. Papon, Talabois, Man-at-Arms, and Queermont. And we are ready to go. Okay, that's next time, though. I hope uh, you enjoyed watching this. I definitely enjoyed playing it. Um, I'll trick these guys up off camera and let you know what I did in the next episode. I am HMV, and I will, as always, talk at you later.